today I'm in Hong Kong Disneyland. It's one of the two Disney parks in the world that I have not visited yet and I'm super excited. It's a bit windy but that's uh, very nice and the weather is so warm. It's November and it's 25 degrees and they're preparing for the holidays so it's very weird to be in a dress and to see palm trees and to see Christmas decorations so that's really weird but I'm so much looking forward and I hope that you will enjoy this very fun video park not, not like very old but the castle in Paris is like at least two or three times bigger than this one this one is really so 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 small but it's it's nice looking but it's tiny this bag I thought it was only available in Tokyo and here in Hong Kong they have it should I get it should I get it it's about 50 bucks I forgot my mini ears at home, but look how this is cool. They have like empty ones and then you can buy the separate bow that is interchangeable and that you can change. Basically that's what I've been doing with the cheerleading bows and the Lolita bows on my own mini ears, but that's really cool that they decided to do something like that. This is a Stella Lou sweet potato mousse. It looks so kawaii. <laughs> I can't taste the sweet potato, but it's good. Honestly, it's very good, but I cannot say what the taste is. So, we've been to Iron Man and it was so cool. It's really like Star Tours. It's a simulator in 3D, but it's really, really cool. And you start at Hong Kong Disneyland in the story and you go to Hong Kong City and a bunch of adventure happens and then you go back. So that's really, really cool. That's really in Hong Kong and uh, they made it really special for this one. And we also went to the Space Mountain that's been recently rebranded Hyperspace Mountain for Star Wars. So it's like in Paris, it's uh, just like painting and new pre-show videos and stuff like that, but it's kind of cool. And inside of the attraction, they redid the whole light show and everything, so it's really Star Wars and it's kind of cool. It's not as crazy as in Paris with the loops and everything, but the track is really, really cool. The vehicle are not so comfortable, but really really fun attraction I was not expecting much knowing that the one in Paris is really crazy but it's similar to the one in Tokyo and in Orlando and you guys know I'm a big Star Wars fan so it's so cool to see a BB-8 snack cart here fortunately it's closed but we'll see later what food they serve here <laughs> Hello, <Chewie>. Hi. <laughs>
it's a small world it's so cool what I like is that they're all different in all the parks so you have different countries and different way of portraying each countries and in this one they added a lot of the Disney characters inside of each of their countries that's super super cool I really enjoy seeing and looking for all the different characters Princess Sophia really seemed to like my dress a lot. It was really fun. We had really, really fun interactions with the characters here so far. And I even met a Lolita and we talked and she's from here, from Hong Kong. And she agreed that I film her for the vlog. between Expedition Everest and Big Thunder Mountain and it has very ex unexpected things happening and very cool and it is thrilling, you can see This haunted mansion is so pretty it's called Mystic Manor like in Paris I think and it's really the most beautiful of them all
wall and actually I thought it was tiny but maybe it's missing a part so the whole castle is in refurbishment so that's why it's not even lit up that's so sad but we have a huge huge Christmas tree up there which makes up for it a little bit and fake snow So Hong Kong Disneyland is really really cool. It's a very small park, so you can totally do it in a day and really really tons of very cool attractions, some new ones, some old ones but uh, with the twist really worth visiting. So I hope that you enjoyed this visit at Hong Kong Disneyland and see you soon. Bye bye!